Yo, for welcome back to my channel, The Holistic Boss. This is Coach Renee, your holistic health and wellness strategist. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to prepare some quinoa. Quinoa is um, full of, it's nutrient dense, full of vitamins and minerals. It has a lots of protein, it has fiber, it has all the amino acids that our body needs. It is gluten free, it has lots of fiber. So it has all of these goodies inside this quinoa that our body needs. You know, I talk about the minerals that we need so much, zinc, magnesium, iron. It has all of that inside of this quinoa. And quinoa, for most folks, is not the easiest thing to make, but I'm gonna show you how I prepare mine. And you can follow the instructions on the bag. I don't always follow the instructions on the bag because it says you don't have to soak your quinoa. However, I like to soak my quinoa, whether it's overnight or for five hours. I like to get the residue out of there, the debris or whatever little um, crystal rocks might be inside there. So I just like to soak my quinoa and that's what I do. I soak it mainly overnight and then I drain it, strain it, and then, you know, so here we go. Quinoa is only takes about 15 to 20 minutes to make. So I've already I made some this morning, but I wanted to show you how I prepare it. Make it simple, easy. It's good for breakfast, you can eat it for lunch, or you can eat it for dinner or a snack, right? So I, what I do is once I strain my uh, quinoa from, I put it inside of a Pyrex dish and I use a, um, a half a cup I use a half a cup of quinoa, I pour the water, you know, um, halfway to the top so I can soak it overnight, right? And once I have soaked it, drained it, I put it inside of my pot, then I use a cup of water and I pour the cup of water over the quinoa in the pot, right? Then I turn it on high to boil without the top, once it boils, I turn it down to low and then I put the top on it and cook it for about 15 minutes. Now the way that you know that your quinoa is done is you look for the little indentions inside of the quinoa. You can see that, you see the indentions, that's when you know that your quinoa is ready. All right. So you want to make sure that you have a, a top when you boil it on top of the stove. Now once it's done cooking, you let the quinoa sit for 10 minutes. Let it sit for 10 minutes with the top on. After 10 minutes, then you can start dressing it up with your sea salt and whatever you want to use. Now make it healthy, whatever you put inside this quinoa. I eat quinoa along with something else because I cannot eat quinoa alone. I, it's not filling. I like to add it some type of vegetable, some type of whatever I want to add to it to, to give me that feeling, that full feeling, right? So this morning, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, in my bowl, I mean in the pot, I'm gonna add uh, some sea salt. I'm sprinkle some sea salt in there. Uh, make it this simple, sim simple, real simple. I'm gonna add some garlic granules, garlic granules, right? Just gonna sprinkle some of that on there. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to stir this up. I'm going to stir the quinoa up with the seasonings in here, right? We're going to make this simple, real simple. It's a quick 15 minute um, meal prep, you know, when you're in a hurry and you need to get where you're going, all right? So now that I've stirred this up, I'm going to take a spoonful and place it on my plate, bowl, whatever you want to use, right? Enough so, whatever you want to use, okay. Now, since I have that on my plate, my bowl, I'm going to add some goodies to this, right? I want to add something else. So. I've washed this morning some, well actually I've soaked it overnight, some fresh broccoli and I, the reason I soaked it overnight because when you wash the broccoli, I wash my broccoli 
in water, fresh pure water, I put apple cider vinegar, and I put lemon in it, right? And then I wash it, all right? But I wanted to soak it overnight, and that's what I did. Because what happens is the color, the green color comes out more, and you get all the debris, all the dirt, all of that out, right? So I'm just gonna use probably, um, you can use as much as broccoli as you want, right? You can use, yeah. So I'm gonna use a couple of fl florets, as we call them, from fresh broccoli, right? So I'm gonna put that in my plate, on my plate, and broccoli is full of vitamins, lots of vitamin C. So we always wanna think about what are we eating, how much do we have, or whatever, right? And I'm gonna add some red bell peppers, more vitamin C. Remember I always talk about, think about what you're eating, how many vitamins and minerals are inside of that liquid or that meal that you're making, right? I'm just gonna add a couple of uh, bell peppers on top, right? Then I want some healthy fat with this, right? That helps me stay full. So I'm gonna add some healthy fat to this. And what is that healthy fat? It's gonna be an avocado. Avocado. Avocados, you wash it with a brush, clean it with a brush, because avocados is dirty when you buy them in the store, right? It's a lot of dirt that comes off of these avocados when you pay attention to it. But, uh, so I'm gonna add some avocado. And um, avocados, once again, omega-3s, lots of good fat, a lot of um, healthy vitamins and stuff in here, all right? Look at that beautiful avocado. I just love it when it looks green like that, right? So I'm gonna add some avocado here. And then, you know, a trick for me for avocado is I like to add a little bit of sea salt because it gives it a little more flavor. And I don't need, I don't add any, um, you can add lemon or lime also to this if you like. But I'm not adding any lemon or lime today. I just want some avocado. I'm just ready to eat, right? <laughs> just ready to eat this dish. All right, so I'm just gonna put on here a half of avocado. You can mix it together or you can leave it separate however you choose. So this is a quick breakfast meal. Just gonna add a tad bit of um, salt on here. See salt? If it comes out. There we go. All right. So that's it. That's a quick breakfast. And now you have all of your protein. You have your fiber. You have your minerals and your vitamins. You have your fat right on this small plate. Right. So look at that. So let's taste it. Dear God, thank you so much for this meal that I'm about to receive. Help it to nourish your body to continue health and well-being in your name. I say thank you. Thank you and thank you. All right, so let's taste this delicious stuff. Now you can mix it all together and make it like a casserole if you like, or you can just eat it just like you see it, right? So let's taste this and see what it tastes like. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So, so good and delicious. It's good. And this will probably keep me full for maybe, I have a high, metabol high metabolism, so it might keep me full for four hours, maybe, you know, and then I have to have another step. But anyway, so this is your, how you prepare your quinoa, right? I don't want to have you on video while I was waiting for 15 minutes for it to cook. But anyway, this is how you cook it. And I buy mine from Costco. This is a big bag and it lasts a long time, pretty much. Um, yeah, you can get it at Costco. If you cannot, if you don't have a Costco in your area, you can find smaller bags in your nearby grocery store. If your grocery store do not have quinoa, you can find it online. When in doubt, check it out. 
online, right? All right, so that's this meal. All right, if you're new to my channel, I wanna say welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for tuning in to The Holistic Boss. This channel is all about natural healing for the mind, body, and soul. I make meals and healthy smoothies and juices that's going to target the areas of our body where we can get rid of the toxins that no longer need to be inside our body and help us to heal our bodies, right? So we can thrive in our everyday life. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below if you have not already done so. Also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload new content. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and share it with your circle of influencers out there. Those individuals who need to hear it, who want to hear it, who are learning, who want to learn how to shop healthier, who want to learn how to live healthier, who want to learn how to lose that ex those extra pounds that they no longer need, that's weighing them down, all of the above. Send them to the Holistic Boss, right? And if you are looking for exciting new ways to cook your meals, eat your meals raw, grab my recipe book in the description down below. Also, I will all I will leave all of um, links in the description. So please, please check out the description on my homepage right here on the YouTube channel. All right. And if you are interested in a 10 to 14 day juice and vegetable challenge, please let me know in the comment section below because I am preparing to do a 10 to 14 day juice and vegetable challenge with you and i want you to be a part of that because i want you to share your amazing results that you get from that challenge and i tell you they are going to be amazing right so let me know about that in the uh, comment section below that's it for today's video all right until next time remember to stay whole, healthy, and happy. Have yourself an awesome day, an amazing day, and I hope that the sun is shining wherever you are. Take care.